Hey everyone, today we're going to be uh, showing you how to install some switches and relocate your start and kill switch off your handlebars. This is a uh, Honda VT750 we're going to be working on today. Uh, some other models may have different colored clips, may have different shapes of frames and motors and all that. Um, but these wiring colors are pretty much the same across all the Honda models, at least the Honda Shadows. Um, we've already gone ahead and removed, as you can see, we've removed the uh, switch cluster from the handlebars, and we have unplugged it from this little green clip here. And there's also a clip that is blue and white that's connected to that. That's actually a headlight cutoff switch. So you, we won't be using that or needing it today. So with this clip, what you're going to want to do is identify three different wires. And you can see the three wires facing me are yellow and red, what appears to be just black, and a black and white. Now, the other side of this clip, the female end, you'll see that these three wires right here are yellow and red, black and green, and black and white. You can see, this is how the clip is oriented. These top three here, yellow and red, black and green, black and green, black and white. So on this side, the colors of the wires change, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be using those three wires right there in the front. So this yellow and red wire here is one, going to be one side of your start button. These two wires are your kill switch. So we'll show you how to wire those up. So now you can see what I've done is I pulled some of the tape off here to expose a little more length of these three wires here that we're going to be using. Excuse me these three wires. So now you're going to follow them down this way, pull them out here, we're going to cut them off and thread them through this little uh, wiring sheath. One at a time is usually easiest. There you go, there's our black and white. Now the yellow and red. And now our black one. It's supposed to be black and green, but it's got black with like olive green spots on this model. So now we're left with this little uh, bunch of wiring here. So now we're going to get some other wires and connect them. Now as you can see here, I've uh, connected our wires. We've got our black and green is going to a green, our yellow and red is going to an orange, and our black and whites go into a gray. Uh, pretty easy colors to remember. Uh, the combination of yellow and red makes orange and black and white's gray and um, don't know that black and green would make anything special so green it is. Now you can see the connections here I've done are uh, non-insulated butt connectors and the way to do these properly is you crimp on the seam then turn the connector sideways and crimp again. This is a bulletproof connection. You do not need to use solder. Uh, there are two schools of thought on wiring for a bike. Some people insist solder must be used, but I will tell you that every situation I've had where solder is involved and there's a uh, electrical failure, it's usually because the solder has vibrated loose or corroded or it wasn't done right. It leaves way too much room for failure. So with this, you know how much wire is going inside of each connector and you know that you can clamp the tar out of it and make sure it's not going anywhere. Uh, I've been wiring bikes like this for a long time and this is actually on the advice of a, a guy named Neil from Neil Cycles in Fullerton years ago. He asked me why the hell I needed to solder something and then he explained this whole thing to me. So the crucial step after this though is your heat shrink. So you get some heat shrink, slide it over your connections, you can use a heat gun or a, uh, a lighter, a butane torch, and you're going to want to make sure all these are covered so they don't touch the frame or, or each other and ground out. So we're going to do that next and then wire up our switch. All right, so now you've run your wiring and you've got, you know, your orange, your gray, and your green wire. Now there's two ways you can wire up your start button. If you want to incorporate a kill switch, you will need to wire these two to one, one to each side of the kill switch, and then we're going to wire from one side to this pole on your start button. Other pole of the start button is going to have 
your orange or yellow and red wire. Now, if we don't want to have a kill switch, all we have to do is take these two wires and connect them to this pole. So you've got your black and green, or in this case our green and our, and our gray. Um, we would connect them to this pole and the orange to this side. Pretty simple. So today we are not going to be using a kill switch on this bike. So we're going to wire both these wires up to the start switch. Now when mounting your uh, start button, you're going to want to take the retaining ring off the back. Wherever you choose to put it, you're going to need to put the switch in first. So today we've uh, drilled some holes in our side cover here. Put the switch in there. Put a retaining ring on the back. So, now we're going to connect our wires to these guys. And this is one of my brass push button switches. Super easy to use. Take our orange wire here first. And tighten that screw down. Do the same for the other side, and we're going to take our green and gray wire, put them together, and put them through this port here. I need both my hands for this. <laughs> Just cut off a little longer lead than you normally would use for a, um, for a butt connector, and you're going to twist these guys together. Make sure they're nice and smooth. There we go. Now we will tighten down the screw. And obviously before you ride, you're gonna to wanna to make sure this nut is tightened down properly. The, uh, the retaining ring right here. Make sure you tighten that down good so your switch doesn't fall out while you're riding. So now, <clears throat> if you have had a, a kill switch in, what you would have is you'd have this gray wire going to this lead, green wire going to this lead. And then from one of these two leads, you run a wire to this side. It's a pretty simple process, very easy setup. Uh, what I'll be doing now is I'll be running heat shrink along all these wires and I will make sure they're protected and then we're going to hook up our key switch.